Welcome to IDB everyone, Andrew here. iOS 11.1 has reached beta 3 and we're getting closer and closer to release with many, many new features. We've covered a few in the past that have come in previous betas and beta 3 is getting to be pretty polished. There's not really that much here in form of changes. One small change is there is now haptic feedback again whenever you put in a incorrect passcode. This was removed before for some reason, possibly by mistake, but it's back again. If you ever put in a wrong passcode, it will give you that haptic feedback letting you know that it's not correct and you have to try again. There's also still a little bit of lag when it comes to 3D touch. So anytime you have those 3D touch on the icons or wherever you are in the OS, you can still see here there's just a little bit of lag. It's not as smooth as it once was. So hopefully that gets polished up again. It's quite a bit quicker than it was in previous betas and even in iOS 11, it was a still a little bit slow Low. So we're getting a lot closer here, so that will be nice when that's really nice and smooth and fast response time when you invoke 3D Touch. We're still missing quite a few features though, like iMessages in the cloud and AirPlay 2. Though it looks like we probably will see the Apple Pay and the Messages and the Cash Card come in this 11.1 update. Since the last beta, it has been distributed to Apple retail employees, showing that it's a lot closer to launch and it may even come out with 11.1 when the iPhone 10 launches next month. Of course, we also saw the release of other betas today as well, including watchOS 4.1 beta 3, which has some nice changes coming to watchOS. Now in the previous beta is just a roundup. If you missed it, what we saw in beta 2, there are quite a few changes compared to what we saw here in beta 3. Notably, we have a ton of new emojis coming. There are like hundreds of them. Of course, you put them all together in their own video. So if you missed that, definitely click on the link and check that one out for sure. We also saw the return of the 3D touch enabled app switcher and the fast app switcher from swiping across the screen. Both of those are back now. I know a lot of people really missed these, so for older phones, these are definitely going to be there with 3D Touch. Of course, the iPhone 10 doesn't really need these because it has its own little gesture and swiping pad along the bottom. So iPhone 10 won't need this, but for all the other phones, this gesture will be coming back in iOS 11.1. So for anyone else who's tried this beta, how's it holding up for you? Let us know how beta 3 works for you or anything else that we've missed down below in the comments. Go ahead and subscribe, and until next time, it's Andrew for IDB.